Welcome to this video on writing the literature review section for a journal article, which is part of our series on publishing research article. Writing the literature review for a journal article is quite different from that of a thesis. With the thesis, your aim is to read widely and to show how much you've read. But the literature review section in a paper is focused around presenting the, the particular study under, that, you are, that you are writing about and situating that study in the literature. And really what you're arguing is that there's a need for this research. So you want to show what research has been conducted and what research hasn't been conducted. Step one is to begin by identifying key concepts in your area of research and turning these into keywords and the keywords you'll use in searching for materials. So if you're doing a paper where methods or perhaps materials are important, then you might want to include that in your list of keywords. Identify key authors in the area. You may already know who they are, so you can look up their published works. Identify the main or important journals relevant to this topic, and you can search those as well. Once you've got your keywords and you've thought about your concepts, you can begin searching the literature. Use the keywords or key authors' papers. So for a keyword search, you would look through your library's databases or specific journals or the open internet. If you were looking up specific authors, you would look at their references and match them against the keywords. And you keep going until you have a good sense of the issues in the literature. During the search, you're only reading the abstracts. You might want to set up a time limit because it can be quite easy just to search and search and search. So set a time limit of a week or a month. You could also limit the search to a particular time frame, let's say 10 years, or to a particular context, let's say the literature only in Canada or the US, to make your search more manageable. And keep track of the keywords that you've used and the journals you've searched so that you know what you've done and what you haven't done. And don't be afraid to ask for help. Once you've finished searching, we now move into a reading phase. Here you want to read and organize the abstracts you've collected and identify key papers that will require in-depth reading. And what you're looking for in these abstracts and papers is how the papers relate to your own study. Are there papers that agree or disagree with your argument? Will they provide good examples or case studies of issues and concerns in the literature? Do they provide good definitions or discussions of concepts? Will they give you a theoretical lens? Are there any papers that support your your identification of a gap in the literature. Keep detailed notes and referencing details, but focus on how the articles relate to your study and not only on the message in the paper. In step four, we begin to move into a writing phase. So here you want to begin organizing your notes and articles in some way. So you could organize the literature in, into themes, into how concepts have evolved over time. You could look at debates as they've emerged over time or within particular contexts, or you could use an argument structure like the Toulmin argument structure. Step five would be to begin planning your literature review, to take your notes and your um, ideas and perhaps use a concept map if necessary and brainstorm all your ideas or even the notes that you've taken from the readings and begin to organize how you will write this particular section. And then the last step is of course to rewrite 
to write it and then to rewrite it if necessary and to edit your literature review. The main elements of a literature review section in a journal article include a sentence or two about um, the literature as a whole, so this orients the reader to the literature, and then the bulk of the section will be devoted to a discussion of the key issues or debates re relevant to your particular study, an identification of the knowledge gap and a rationale for doing this research. It may not appear in this order because that will depend on the logic of your particular study and this may vary depending on your discipline or field, but those are generally the components you would find. So what you want to do is read the literature review section in your targeted journal. So find articles and read those sections. So the key points that we've covered in this video that writing the literature review section is focused around your particular study and that the process we've outlined here is one of identifying keywords, beginning to search with those keywords, accessing abstracts and articles, working out what to read in depth, making notes, organizing your thoughts and your notes and then beginning to write the literature review section. please watch our other videos that are available on YouTube and these may help you to write this particular section. Writing a paper for publication is a complex process so we've provided quite a few references here if you want to read further. Thank you for watching this video on writing the literature review section for a journal article, which is part of our series on publishing a research article.